What's up you guys, I'm Patrick of Coaster Fanatics and today I'm bringing you another coaster battle. Today's battle will be Millennium Force vs Intimidator 305. I'll give you all the rundown of the stats, the elements, and the pros and cons of each coaster and let you know which one is overall better. Your opinion will count as well. I want you all to share which one you think is better in the comments. In my last video you voted Mystic Timbers to be better than the Beast 13-9. As I said, this video will be Millennium Force vs Intimidator 305. Find out which one is better, starting now. So Millennium Force opened in 2000. It's a Giga Coaster built by Intamin. It has a max height of 310 feet, with a drop of 300 feet, and a top speed of 93 miles per hour. Millennium Force has a total track length of 6,595 feet, and has a total duration of 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Intimidator 305 opened in 2010 and is also a Giga Coaster built by Intamin. It has a max height of 305 feet with a drop of 300 feet and a top speed of 90 miles per hour. Intimidator 305 has a total track length of 5,100 feet and has a total duration of 3 minutes flat. So as you guys can see these coasters are statistically very similar with only slight differences. However, what really separates these coasters are their elements and their themes. Millennium Force features the first of its kind cable style lift hill and really gets you to the top fast. Its elements include two wave turns, three airtime hills, two tunnels, and several overbank turns. It has an excellent futuristic theme and features an out and back layout. Intimidator 305 also features the cable style lift system. Its elements include two airtime hills, and multiple high speed overbank twists and turns that stay low to the ground. It has an excellent theme that is based on one of the best NASCAR drivers, Dale Earnhardt. Unlike Millennium Force's out and back, Intimidator 305 features more of a twister layout. Pros and cons for Millennium Force are as follows. First is just the overall energy of Millennium Force. Everybody in the stations is excited to get on this thing, and the ride operators really love what they do and do an excellent job. Its energy is unmatched. Next is its theming. Millennium Force don't have a lot of theming, but it has just enough. For example, the trains look very futuristic, and the music in the station really adds to the experience. Speaking of the trains, they feature a simple lap bar which gives added comfort and overall makes the ride more enjoyable. The big thing with Millennium Force is that just about everyone can ride it. It's not too intense, and it's definitely not weak. It appeals to people of all ages, which is why it's so popular. Finally, Millennium Force gives great night rides. In fact, it's my favorite steel coaster night ride. As far as cons go, I only have two. One is the long wait times. If you don't have a fast lane, you could easily wait two hours or more to ride. The final con is its reliability. From what I've heard, this coaster does get a lot of downtime. However, in my experience, it hasn't had much at all. In fact, I've never seen it down more than 20 minutes. Maybe I've just been lucky. Intimidator 305 is a very thrilling ride. This is a total thrill seekers coaster. It has a great theme with the trains looking like Dale Earnhardt's car. When the trains dispatch you hear the speakers say gentlemen start your engines which is pretty cool. Intimidator 305 feels like a larger maverick. It's very similar with its high speed overbank turns that stay low to the ground. Finally it has a pretty short wait time compared to Millennium Force. However, Intimidator 305 has two cons. The first is that it uses over-the-shoulder restraints that I'm not a fan of on a Giga Coaster. And the second is that it's just too intense for the average person. I mean, it's great for thrill seekers, but not everybody wants to experience gray out conditions. So which one of these coasters is better? It may seem hard because both of these coasters are similar in a lot of ways, but you guys probably guessed that my clear winner for this coaster battle is Millennium Force. The main reason that I choose this coaster over Intimidator 305 is that it appeals to more people than just the high thrill seekers. Intimidator 305 is many people's number one coaster, but it is just too intense for most people which is why it has always ranked lower than its opponent. Millennium Force is always ranked in the top two steel coasters in the world, and the main reason is that it's a coaster that just about everyone can ride and enjoy. So you guys, which one of these coasters do you think is better? Please let me know in the comment section. I'll share the results to your answers in the next coaster battle video. Also please give me ideas for future coaster battle videos. Let me know which ones you want to see matched up. 
I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button. Do leave your thoughts in the comment section, and if you're new around here, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a good one. I'll catch you all in the next video very, very soon. Thank you.